Well, coming up, take a look at this stock. It's a very interesting one. Dow up 96, but Ruby Tuesday, look at this one. It's down seven cents right now. Can a new partnership with a Mexican chain help spice up the bottom line at this one? We have exclusive interviews with the CEO, Sandy Beals, and Lime Fresh CEO, John Conkle. They're both coming up. They're both joining me next on Fox Business. I want to take a look at a stock for you, Ruby Tuesday. The stock is actually trading. Uh, it's been back and forth a little bit, but it's down nine cents right now, 707. It's a casual dining chain, taking a hit on gloomy after hours reported fiscal first quarter net income down about 75%. But will a new licensing deal with Mexican chain Lime Fresh Grill be the ticket to renewed success for Ruby Tuesday? Joining us now for an exclusive interview. Ruby Tuesday CEO Sandy Beals and Lime Fresh Mexican Grill CEO John Kunkel on this new partnership. Gentlemen, welcome to both of you. And Sandy, I do want to start with you. I do want to talk about the quarter in particular. Uh, you were you were, you've had some rough spots last year with the company. Things have begun to turn around. Now you're saying uh, that the soft economy, the competitive environment, is hurting the company. What in particular is is happening in the competitive environment in the casual chain space right now? Well, our issue is really the same store sales. It's very, very competitive, competitive environment. Uh, you have consumers eating out less, and you have your major chains advertising more and doing more and more deals, which makes it more difficult for the ones who don't advertise. So we're testing different forms of advertising. We've got to get back in the game. We realize that, and we've got to get revenue up. Are you worried about the, about the consumer? And this is really going to be asked of both of you. Are you concerned, Sandy, oh. first to you first, about the consumer, about uh, the fact that you do have the jobs rate uh, higher right now, unemployment? Uh, we are concerned about the economy. Does that concern you? Well, I'm beyond concern, concerned about the consumer. I think it's not just a quarter or a year thing. I think it's a five or ten year decade issue. Uh, I just don't see anything that's going to motivate the consumer to really spend a lot and they're very, very value conscious, and so you really have to have really compelling offers and communicate a lot, a whole mm -hmm. lot, to them to get them to come in. Well, you're, you are taking a chance here, the two of you announcing this partnership. And, John, I want to go over to you on this because you're going to be uh, – you've, you've only got 10 stores right now. You're going to take it out to 200. You've only been in Florida. You've been very successful there. But now you want to take fresh lime. You want to take it out to other states. What's your strategy, and how fast can you grow the company, do you think? Well, I think Sandy and I both concentrated on the qualities of the individual units, picking great locations, uh, focusing on really keeping the integrity of the brand of where it started in Florida. I, I think Lime has filled a great niche in the marketplace between fast casual and casual dining right now, where you have kind of the best of both worlds, mm -hmm. where you're able to have the conveniences of fast casual with some of the service points of casual dining at, at a real value-oriented price point, which is, uh, I think, why we've continued, one of the many reasons why we've continued to expand during a, a tough economy. Yeah, and you certainly have, and I have to say the idea of a lime margarita, I'm sure, appeals to a lot of people. But I want to find out about jobs uh, in particular for Lime Fresh, because, uh, as I mentioned, we do have unemployment at 9.1 percent. A lot of people do need jobs. How many people do you plan to hire at this point? Well, each store employs about 40 people. Um, you know, this year alone, we're looking to hire several hundred people between our corporate expansion as well as the partnership with Ruby Tuesdays. So that's an exciting thing as we come into these new markets to be able to provide jobs. We, you know, we've obviously seen a, a much higher turnout when we go to hire for these stores. Uh, sure. You know, much more quality employees that are out there. So we, it's been a uh, a wonderful thing to be able to provide jobs uh, up and down the eastern uh, seaboard as we look at new locations. Okay, and, and Sandy, last question to you before I let you go. Why do this partnership? Uh, as, as I mentioned, the company Ruby Tuesday had, had some issues before. Things were kind of coming yes. back. Now it's up again. So you're taking a big gamble here, Sandy. Why? Well, we're taking a little bit of a gamble, but we have massive free cash flow. We re reiter reiterated yesterday with 90 to $100 million extra cash every year. Uh, you create value by investing capital and getting a superior return on it. And so the Ruby Tuesday concept is 40 years old. It's a great brand. It's in great shape, but there's no growth left for that. So we're developing two concepts, a seafood concept that we're trying to grow, as well as the partnership with John with the Lime concept. Lime fills a different niche. It's not big box casual dining. It's small box, very efficient, very high returns, and appeals to a younger demographic. So if it can work, we can create jobs and create value for the shareholders. All right. Well, Ruby Tuesday CEO Sandy Beals. Sandy, great to have you on the show. Lime Fresh Mexican Grill CEO John Kunkel. Gentlemen, thank you. Good luck on the partnership. Hope to see some hiring. Appreciate it. Thank you. Well, thank you.